Hello everyone, my name is Malcolm Oliver and I serve as the Associate Dean for Excelsior College's School of Graduate Studies. I've created this video to welcome you to the American Society for Public Administration and to communicate the importance of your participation within this organization. I first want to commend you for all the hard work that you've been doing in the Master of Public Administration program. I know it can be a challenge to balance work, family, and school, but I also know that the educational process can be very rewarding. I worked as a city planner while completing my Master of Public Administration degree at night, and the payoffs from the extra work that I put in were well worth it. Only 13% of the American population has a master's degree or higher, so you're on the way to joining an elite club. The MPA degree will open doors for career advancement, salary increases, and in difficult economic times, such as right now, will reduce the probability of unemployment. I know that for those in the public and nonprofit sector, or for those seeking to transition into these fields, you are not driven simply by status and, and a paycheck, although they matter, but, by the, but you're driven by the impact that you make on individuals' lives each and every day. The purpose of the American Society for Public Administration is to create a forum for those focused on the public good, to exchange and debate ideas so that effective solutions can be designed to address many of the most pressing challenges that we face as a society today. ASPA has over 8,000 members from academia, public and nonprofit uh, organizations, and for students of public administration. What's interesting about this organization is that it's composed of working professionals like yourselves, and they're also seeking to build quality relationships with others that are making positive contributions to communities across this nation. There is great value in your participation in ASPA. Your membership makes you part of, of the most widely known professional association for public administrators in the United States. In fact, during the 2019 ASPA conference in Washington, D.C., the president-elect, Joseph Biden, actually gave the keynote speech. Today, the most significant step that you can take is to go onto ASPA's website and exercise your right to vote. This is important because today, with one simple three-minute action, you have the opportunity to place a representative from your academic program onto the national board of the most pres prestigious public service organization in the country. What's also unique is that this is an opportunity for you to place the only representative from an institution that primarily serves adults in the online environment on the executive council. Just today, an Excelsior alumni uh, that works in New York uh, City saw my campaign on LinkedIn and wrote the following. Dr. Oliver, I'm a member of ASPA and I cast a ballot for you to represent District 1 today. I'm an Excelsior alumni, BA 1984. It is refreshing to see a representative of that institution in such a responsible position. Non-traditional learning is becoming more popular since my day, and it provides many of us with the opportunity to achieve our goals. We should not be shut out because of an inability, inability of degree cost or because our jobs and family responsibilities don't allow us to pursue more traditional means of education. I'm proud to cast my vote for you today. To vote, you can simply go to ASPA's website, which I've included a link in this email, then go to the About ASPA tab, then to National Council Elections, and then to Voting Has Begun. It will then take you to another website where you will enter your login credentials. If you, and be sure, if you have never been here to this webpage before, you will need to use the email that you've been using at Excelsior College because that's what we've submitted uh, with your memberships. And please note that your username may be your email address, but if you have already logged in, it will be another unique username that you have created. Once you log in, you'll be able to select your candidate, 
which will be the candidate running for the candidates running for national chair and for myself to run as district one representative. If you have any trouble signing in to vote, please contact Philip Carlisle or Leslie Tyson from ASPA who can assist you. Voting will end Friday, December 4th at 1159 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to reach out to me at moliver at excelsior.edu. Thank you.